about seven of the world's deadliest manufacturing disasters in the last 20 years. This is obviously a very touchy subject. Um, just a brief introduction on myself. My name is Nathan Resnick. I'm the founder and CEO of Sourceify. We're the world's fastest growing manufacturing platform. So we help hundreds of companies produce products around the world. Let's dive in here. Um, first, right off the bat, the collapse of Rana Plaza. I mean, this was absolutely devastating. Um, it was a huge, huge wake up call in 2013 to the manufacturing and really the garment industries um, in Bangladesh specifically, because this was a plaza that had five garment factories on different floors. And as you see in the image, the whole plaza literally collapsed. I mean, it was uh, 1,132 workers that were killed or seriously injured in this uh, incident. So it shook really Bangladesh's whole garment industry, um, which totals over $28 billion. And, you know, what was crazy is that they said the government owes a minimum of about a million dollars in compens compensation for the workers' families. But, you know, here's the thing in these you know, second and third world countries, uh, the labor rate, rate rates are so low for these factory workers. And unfortunately, uh, not a lot of people you know, are able to care for them. And so that's why I think it's so important right now in the world of, of e-commerce to really have a sustainable and transparent supply chain. Number two is the Kunshan explosion. This is where a automotive factory blew up in China. Um, it was a dust explosion in 2014. And, you know, about 146 workers were killed and over 114 were injured. I mean, this blew up basically the whole factory uh, that was producing these, these automotive parts. Number three is the Dhaka fire. This was a factory that employed over 1,500 workers when it opened in 2010 outside of Bangladesh. The factory primarily produced T-shirts, jackets, and other sort of fashion items for major retailers here in America like Sears and Walmart. Um, you know, and, and after it opened, there was a horrific fire that scorched the factory for over 17 hours. Um, there was at least 111 people killed and, you know, hundreds of workers were sent to hospitals for burn treatments. I mean, it was, it was horrible. Um, Pakistan factory fires. Pakistan had, had its worst industrial incident in 2012 when a fire tore through a textile factory complex. In Karachi, um, more than 300 workers were killed, and this is partially because, for whatever reason, the windows were barred and exits um, were locked in a four-story building. So it's devastating. Um, let's watch the video here real quick of the ceased fireworks disaster. As you can see, it's crazy. I mean, imagine being in that building when the factory is blowing up. Jeez. Devastating. Um, this was in 2004 when two employees actually dropped a box containing fireworks, causing the fireworks to ignite. And by the time firefighters arrived on the scene, the blaze was just way too intense for them to you know, put it out. Um, and so they exploded about 280 net tons of fireworks, which is crazy. One firefighter died um, and there was over 2,000 people in the area that were vaca vacated, uh, it, was, it was crazy. Number six is the Glasgow factory explosion. This happened in 2004 when a petroleum gas ignited in a pipeline that caused a massive explosion and destroyed the Stockline Plastics factory in Scotland. So this was actually in Europe. Um, roughly 100 people worked in the four-store building, which collapsed immediately. And the blast killed nine workers and injured 40. So... Fortunately, not as many people, you know, died in this incident, but as you can see, it's devastating. And imagine being in that building working and then boom, it, uh, it just has this gas leak. It's crazy. Last but not least is the Cater Toy Factory. 